go and welcome. Now then, I am intrigued how well this is going to go. Sorry, I'm going to have to turn up straight away with a pairing or something. Just, yeah, I'm not sure this is not the main of the uh, things, but we shall see. Yeah, so I am going to immediately say my words. We're going to see that the gals are the other side.
Hello and welcome. Right, apologies. There's going to be a few minutes worth of missing footage uh, due to um, the Marillis Action software. This is a piece of software that I bought uh, when I was actually um, on Lone Oak and it got a really good reputation and I tried it. And th this software ruined my approach into Lone Oak Farm. I literally recorded the session, the triumphant entry. We just saved the money up, bought the bought the farm yard or so i thought and i was recording the software came out of the game and it had crashed the mirrorless action had crashed in the background so i lost the footage again something that you cannot really recover so have you been using it for a few days had absolutely no problem not not recorded extra long because i've read a few little things about people say sometimes it crashes if it's on for too long i try not to well actually i split my uh, sessions down to 15 minutes long so really it only gets a maximum length of 15 minute segments well i came out again the there was no sign that it had crashed and i could see that there was a, a basically the file wasn't in the proper format it, it didn't read that you could play it started marillis action and it said oh please can i send off a log file to um you know the company marillis uh because abnormal um you know ab abnormal leaving of the software or something like that had happened so yeah Basically, I lost, about, I would say, about 20 minutes of footage. We had pretty much sewn up the entire field. Yeah, we've, we've done that. I'd also just, uh, you, you probably missed, it's an awful field. Field 6 is absolutely vile. It's nearly all silty clay. It cost us a fortune, and it probably is one of the worst fields on the map. Nevertheless, it, it, for, yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of a, it is really, it's not, not very pretty, as well as that, the fact it's really got an awful lot of <laughs> good money to sell it, try to get another one. Because it is awful. It really is. I mean, I knew it was... <laughs> I knew it wasn't fantastic, but... Yeah, you will see now that there is, like, some... Oh, my life, yeah. Oh, it does say silly clay. It was my own fault, really. <laughs> oh, well. Yeah, those four dots that you can see on the field, that is me doing the painting on it. You Did you see? I think this is where it went wrong. It went wrong when I did this. Yeah, if I just um, fly over and show you what I did. The weird thing is, as well, I changed the cursor shape to circular. So I wanted to do perfectly circular things. It also did these funny little lines, which it correspond with the, the lines above. And this one I even did from this angle, thinking, well, if you were doing it from above like I did originally, I can understand the lines being there. It's the power lines and making like a... A line of graphics but i don't understand why i chose a circle and it went to a square but yeah i thought if i do this it's got quite a good chance of actually picking them up as islands ah so i missed a little tiny bit of uh fertilizing yeah so we've done ah no it has done that's true it will do because it's it's a missing it because of the islands so that that going forwards probably will be all right i've got to be honest I'm tempted to leave this as the grass field because it's not going to affect grass terribly and to actually do all of the other fields as arable because they're all quite nice. Yeah, and they're all equal to what, you know, like field six on their own. But I think we can cope with six just like that. I think we're going to do that. I do. It's just, yeah, really awful. Now, obviously, I chatted to you for 10 minutes before I realised it had crashed, before I could see the Marillis uh, thing at the top had crashed. Will I be using Marillis again? Probably not. I stopped using it a long while ago, and I thought, well, I've given it, it must be at least about 18 months. And it's got quite a good reputation. It's like the number, well, they all say that they're the number one. Never ever, as far as I'm aware, ever had a crash with OBS, which is a free open source piece of software. And yet, Many, many YouTubers and content creators use it. Why? Because it's reliable. It is really good. So I can't recall a time I had a crash off OBS unless it was my own fault. So yeah, going forwards, it's OBS for the win. It's, it is slightly, yeah, a lot of the other thinner clients basically say that they're not got such a heavy... Well, I've never had any problems because my PC... Well, even my laptop was, was really good quality anyway. So I, I never had any problems. But people, some people say it's got a higher um, lean on your hardware. I've never really had any problems. But, yeah, there you go. Right. I was just showing you a bit well. I was trying to talk to you. And then, obviously, yeah, I was literally just saying, if we look at the... 
Now, for some obviously, I was tr last session. I realised I'd put nearly all of the the grass in that one. So I think I'd got it in my mind. I should have done this one. Now that was all right, but halfway through doing field six, I thought, oh. Let's spread the love and let's give this one half. Well, that one had already got lots from the other two fields. So, yeah, that was, that was a bit annoying because that's got way too much now. And, yeah, let me just show you what how much the amounts are. Now, I know which one it is now. The one with the most, the one with 110 is our original one on this field right where we are. And this one here has got 420 tonnes. And I must have added another 100 tonnes to that. So it was 300 and some tonnes. And I've added a lot more to it. So, yeah, I'm just sillily, I've actually done this and made it more difficult. I know I could get the grass out and I could get the carrot grass, but it is, it's just a matter of patience. What I was hoping, though, was that obviously I know there's going to be a massive payout again, like there was yesterday, because there's so much um, digesting and all the rest of it. Now, I was just saying there's 110 tons of grass, which means there's going to be 55 tons of water needed. Well, we've got that in there. The other one is 400. That'll only process 250. So we only need 125 tonnes of water, he says only. Yeah, but we basically we've got it covered. So what I wanted to do was to go through till tomorrow. There's only one field. We've done all the cutting. I all, Yeah, I, now, now I'm changing my mind. So what we're going to do next year is on the march, I'm going to go for a massive, massive field beans uh, harvest next year oh that means we've got to wait right away to the following july though the payout it's a long time to wait it is actually yeah i never thought about that what can we plant early that doesn't have a terrible long canola's not bad I've done, i used to do that on western wilds it's not a bad crop we could also make uh but if we make canola oil yeah, have we got enough time to make canola oil? Do we sell? Do we do corn and make seeds? Because that sells at the back ends. We could do. We've got two overtoners, and we've got the other um, the farm. We could use all three to make. Oh, that's a point. Do all of them. I know. I'm. I can't remember which one does the corn? Ah, it's the overtoners. Does the production shed do that as well? No, no, it doesn't. That's sort of that. But then we've got two omatanas that both do corn seeds. I think we should do a massive corn harvest. Although wheat's supposed to be, yeah, that's true. Wheat is supposed to be the best yield, really. And I mean, corn would be if you were doing it as a forage, as chaff, but not necessarily just as for seeds. So I think we're going to do wheat. Yeah, we're going to do a massive wheat harvest. We're going to do one set of grass next year, at the beginning of the year, in March. We're going to rip it up, and in the same month, so it's going to be massive, we might need to get another plough. Yes. Oh, but it's going to be a tight turnaround. Yeah, it is. So March, we're literally... I mean, we could... Or do we do it now? For July harvest? Do we do it September, October? We'll do it November. So that it literally harvests quite early on. That's the point. If we do it in March, it's going to be September. It's going to leave it quite... So I think we will. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do the last cut over here. And... Oh, yeah, it's true. It's going to be messy, isn't it? Yeah, if we're going to do it the first month in September, what we're going to do is we're going to go through... I'm going to sacrifice this, though, aren't I? Not, not really. We could cut this tomorrow morning whilst ripping the others up with the plough because it's going to take time to do that. Cut this grass and stick it in the last grass harvest for this year. A say field. Yeah, obviously I am, as I've just said, I am going to keep the big field as the grass field and that is going to bring in a lot of grass always. Um, we've got two mowers that work quite well. Windrow, I'd like to get another windrow. We'll have all winter, really, after we've sown the, the three, four, five and seven as wheat and then we're going to go into seeds i think yeah we're going to literally do them as wheat seeds and sell those at the back end of next year really yeah the storyline hasn't ended it is this is just us but i am i am trying to get a bit of farming in as well 
Um, and this is our farm now. It's not, not the new one. I did start last session. I was doing the animals. And I'm still thinking about what we do. I'm, I'm not going to go with the the ones off the map. That one is a definite. Uh, it's just I'm very unsure. Did I actually buy the field in the end? I can't remember how I left it. Uh, that's that, You're looking in the wrong place. I did, I bought 185. Yeah, I did. 186 is the big one that would be big enough to cope with. Yeah, I, I could actually, it is true. I could go with the one that I've got. I've got to be honest. Now, my favourite um, cow thing was my cow pasture by Royal Christie. And I realised that actually Chumpy Farmer has actually done one now that I actually prefer more. And that I'll tell you why. It's Maypole that reminded me and the only shortcoming to that, and that is the fact that it's not got enough water storage. Yeah, it, when you... Well, actually, it literally caught me out of Maypole just with 100 cows in. I literally ran out of water before the next one. Now, I never used to do that. Now, I think that's something to do with the map, so I'm not blaming the Royal Christie one for that. But when you got to 400 animals, again, you had to... If you ever wanted to go through the winter and you wanted to sleep straight through... And then basically you needed to wait speed time up till four o'clock, which is a bit faffy, and water your animals again because if you'd got four hundred plus animals, it would run out in the middle of the night. Now, obviously, yeah, it's still not not been changed or improved, so that now is a flaw in my personal opinion. When the animals get that much, now on Maple for some reason it did it only with a hundred animals. Now that's not something it does, and I think that's down to the map itself. Truthfully, looking at the way things are, but I've got to be honest, the Chumpy Farmer one. There's a there's the yeah. Let me show you. Yeah, there is the there's a one for with two hundred nod, I think, and then there's one for five hundred nod. That, I, not only has it got stupendous amounts of storage for straw where you could literally bung. Let me show you. Uh, do we save the game and just quickly do this? I think so, yeah. This is, this is going into a bit of a, a mod review type thing. Now, I don't think this does the 15 minute saves, does it? In multiplayer. But no, it's switched off, that's all. Yeah, time scales at 0 0.5. So let's save that now. And we've got, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter about that. Um, if we put a million in, it doesn't matter right now because this doesn't matter. Because this is never going to happen. This is just literally for, in fact, we can stick this exactly where we like because we've not got auto save as long as I don't hit save afterwards. Yeah, now this one here is the proper farm pasture, which we could, I'll show you. Yeah, there's, there's two by Chumpy Farmer, and these have really become... You know, there's the smaller two, 125,000, which probably would just about fit in here. You drive straight through the middle. Now, we can see that the land itself is quite severely out. Uh, oh, yeah, probably does. It's probably classed because it's an actual um, enclosure. It might not like that. I've never done that, and I did say that. Yeah, so it would cope in that one. Or maybe that it is, yeah, it is. It's a little bit too close to the edges. So that is that one. Uh, let's put it down. Yeah, that, that goes up to 250. And I would think for a map like this, that is probably adequate. Do we stick that? I'd like to stick it closer to the top, if I'm honest. I don't think it'll let me. No, that is literally too close to the top. Ow. No, actually, I don't know that it is. Seems to not like the right hand side. Now remember you've got to go through the middle. And really, are you ever going to be able to use the rest of the field? Probably not. Right, smashing. Let's do something about the uh, land in the... Oh no, no, I think it's actually done it. It's it's yeah, it's awfully. Yeah, we're gonna need Oh, is it? Has it done something weird there? I think it has. I think if we sell that straight away has it leveled it now let's put it down again because that's a bit weird so it's lost it again that's typical because it actually started right near it still seems to have a gap underneath it but it has don't get that
Makes no sense to me, that at all. No, I don't know that it is. It, it's like it's a bit of an optical illusion. Looking at that. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Because this is not really happening at all, really. So if we go to the animal enclosure now on this, it has got a... Ah, I've got no animals in it. You can't show it until you put an animal in it, can you? That is definitely true. Let's go and sort this out. And then just show just how amazing this is. An absolutely amazing bit of kit. Yeah, it is true. And that the ruler Chris has been my absolute favourite for a long time. And it's there have been quite a few animal enclosures that have been a little bit flawed. There was the Brazilian one, which again, you could not, uh, there was not enough water again to actually, uh, or food, I think, one or the other, be to go through the night and your animals not take a health loss. So it's all about capacities, really. And yeah, the Royal Crystal one is similar, but it was really, in my personal opinion, one of the absolute best. But again, it's slightly flawed, only slightly. You can you can work with it though very well. Yeah, if you look at this, it's got 750 tons. Now the one flaw to this, you've got to add the capacities for uh, everything yourself. You will see there's no litre capacity for milk, so you need to add a milk tank. Now I like that. Also, there's no slurry thing. So, again, you've got to add the slurry points. Food, it's got up to 750 tonnes. And straw, it's got up to 450 tonnes. So, that doesn't run out of stuff storage anytime soon. Yeah, so we don't actually put out, need to put animals in to sort of show that. So, this is going to go. But, yeah, this has become, and it's not a very, it's, yeah, only just been put in. It has got one little weirdness, and that is that the calves, I think, run out of here. And actually muck around and almost sink into the concrete. <laughs> it's the only thing. But I've got to be honest, the Rawley Christie and even the Giants one, even the Oxygen Davids, the rabbits. Yeah, it's hard to do the rabbits run outside the uh, pen very slightly. As we saw in the last session, they run out here. So it is hard to do. All of the animal enclosures seem to have some sort of, yeah, not quite right. And, and don't I'm not having a go. It is amazing. Same as I'm not having a go at my... Um, previous favorite the royal christie it, it it is slightly not quite right but it is and it has been in my personal opinion the king of cow barns cow things for a long long time and there's also my little my starting favorites which is by foo farmer that is amazing as well and this i said was flawed and it isn't yeah let me put this down um again because this is just a test so yeah the, i love this this is my favorite from fs19 i i was so yeah i was I always hoping that food farm would release this it is amazing it's uh the cost now it don't matter if we uh, did we own this do not matter we can just stick it down there Actually, it don't matter bottom line is i i said that it needed a manure pit well actually the slurry arm you can actually select whether you want to draw the newer from it now obviously that's a little bit alien to me i know never have thought of that because it's a liquid spout but actually yeah it also allows it pours out the new which i never would have thought but the bottom line is in farm simulator it does work so actually you can get your manure out of there and you can, i don't know if you need a manure pit still i can't remember whether the storage you need to do or not but that is amazing for 150 for 33,000. Obviously, yeah, it's to go in a field, so you also need a field as well. And it is fairly large. I'm, I see, I think it's larger than an FS19, but I might be wrong. It's, it still is my favorite starting. It is quite large, though. It does require quite a large field, really. So I'm not sure whether it is as. I, I don't know. No, I'm not going to cast aspersions. Yeah, going forwards, I've got to be honest, this, as in my personal opinion, now become the absolute best all-rounder. Uh, yes, it's got it. You need to stick your, your uh, milk tank down. You need to stick a slurry tank down. I, do you need to do the manure? Yes, you need to do the manure. But each one of those don't necessarily have to cost you a fortune. There are some really amazing, the Bavarian one, which I always use as 2000 and you can unload it straight into a trailer, which is fantastic. And then there's um, show you. This has become one of my de facto things for, I think it's in containers. No, I don't think it is, it's silo extensions. 
Yeah, it's weird, isn't it? How you've got these? Oh, they're slurry buying, though. Yeah, it's not actually. It is. Let me show you my personal favourite. I've got. I had this on. I'm sure it's in Silo Extensions. I think it is as well. But I was just being thorough. Yeah, it's. Yeah, that's the Bavarian pack, and it's four million liters. That's the manure heap extension that I always, or nearly, I don't think I've ever not used it because it's so good. Now this is the standard one that most use. Still 400, 4 million liters, but that one I think you have to get out manually. So I, I love the Bavarian pack. Maybe you could say I'm a little bit lazy. The liquid storage mod also, that's is that isn't that the one I use for the milk? I think it is. It's a supplementary water tank. Our greenhouses. So yeah. Yeah, that I'm sure that's the one I use by Omitar. The liquid storage silo extension. I use that on its own and it does work, but it's, I'm sure it is. But yeah, you need to do that. You need to do that. And you, I think that does, it is liquid. So you can do slurry and milk in sort of separate tanks within that. I'm sure I've done that. But I found you couldn't, yeah, what did I do? Yeah, my favorite one was, I think it's in Salos actually. I think I'm wrong. Yeah, that's the same one. Manure pit storage. You can, I think you can use either sure you can yeah because i think i've used them for both sections uh, that, that yeah obviously no that's a slow trader yeah it's a dumb matter yeah it's weird they appear in both so it is the same one that i do use it is that one and the other one i use because i couldn't always draw it out of that it's got a quite a finickety draw thing that i found and i think i showed that on Nev uh, neverland to be honest that you've got to be really precise to grab it out of it um, but it does work. Where is it? Ah, this one here. Slurry Pit Missy B. Yeah, I, I, that I've used for the Slurry Pit. I find that quite amazing. So really, you don't. You need the other one for milk. The trouble is, I think if you put the other one down, it actually does slurry as well as milk. So I think, yeah. I think you can probably also, they, they share storage, so you could probably draw from either one. But yeah, you stick those, and they're not going to break the bank. That's 1,000, 2,000, 4,000 euros, pounds, or dollars to actually get this completely equipped on top of the price of this. And it's already reasonable for this super-duper storage. So yes, right, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come back in so that without all this lot in, and we're going to go through till tomorrow morning, but with the right money. So I'm going to uh, see you shortly. Right, we're back in. Yeah, uh, so this is back where we where we actually are, where we were before, up to back to 155,000, 0.5 times. We've done the water for both. It's true. So tomorrow morning, what I'm going to do is just take so tomorrow morning, then next session, we're going to cut this grass, and we're also going to rip these fields and literally just keep the big field six as our grass field going forwards. We're not going to cut that out next year so that we can start with that at th uh, yeah like full growth straight away next or it might be eight no i think it is march i'm sure it is yeah so we're gonna have just cut that field five is it field five it is yeah field five this is at full growth stage i think you know there is one thing i have realized that actually i often yeah these corner swishes as i call them it's actually quite useful not to have all of your grass cut because it actually shows you if you've got to leave those, it stays on the lovely list, lush golden green that sometimes you sort of, when you're looking at a field and it's in second or first growth stage, you think, is that the right green? Now that's definitely the right green. It's a goldy green. Whereas if it's not, yeah, if you're, if you leave the corner switches, you can always see you've got a comparison to what's third growth stage and then what's growing up to that because the length of the grass is, is obviously still very long. So actually, I li actually quite like leaving corner switches because you've got that comparison all the time. Yeah, so next session, we're going to be cutting this field and all fields, yeah, including this one after we've cut it, we're going to rip with a... Um, yeah, rip with the uh, plow, but I just really am interested in taking us through till tomorrow. Yeah, I'd also like to get a couple of hours worth of tick ups because I'd like to get this going as in like I want the process to stop processing. Yeah, I'll go to till 12 and then we're going to sleep through. 
all of our processes, the fertilizers business selling and smashing the, the biogas plant is working and everything. So let's also check what is on the sale. So sometimes later on the day, yeah, we have the, I think I don't, I can't remember. I think it was just those two, but I'm, I'm not sure. I couldn't swear to it. So then let's go through till tomorrow morning. And that is where we're going to leave it. Yeah, it's been a monster session. It really has. Right. So then, uh, all go out to September morning. So we do need it to be nine o'clock. What are we going to do? I think we will. Even if we had to use lights, I think this for once, I'm going to break my norm because we've got a lot of work to do in the morning. Now we're gonna to need to buy another plow. There's no way I'm gonna make do with just one plow. Although we've owned, ah, uh, you say that, but the years, oh, I don't know. I think the Fiat Agri could cope with it as well. Really? Oh, and that's what I was saying. I did, oh, it's gonna rain. What time is it gonna rain? Not until two o'clock again, so. Yeah, we can hit this. Yes, yeah, mainly the grass, and we've only got. Do we cut this as well? Second growth stage. I think. I, I think we'd be stupid to. It's not because we need it. It's just why would you? Oh, I don't know. It's going to be cutting it close to do that as well. Yeah, I think I'm right. We'll just stick to the plan. Yeah, it is true. Although it sort of seems a little bit wasteful. Cause you've got second growth stage. We could risk cutting the grass and running into that bad weather, and then. Yeah, it's true. There is a mod as well now that actually reflects seeding and planting and all the rest of it in the uh, rainy weather. I'm thinking seriously putting that in. Something about rain, rain pain or something like that. So I like the idea of that. So this is, no, this is second growth stage two. This one is only first growth stage because we only put it yesterday. Yeah, that is right. So although we are going to lose the grass and it's a bit of a shame, I don't know that we've got the time to do that, really. We've only got three tractors. It's a small team. If we'd got six tractors, I might seriously consider doing it because we've got the time to do it. But it's a bit of a stretched team for so much. Oh, seriously? Now then, don't we need a header, though? 7.8 metres. I think that would actually cope with that. That is very reasonable. Isn't that one of the... The ones that actually oh, it does it folds as well. Ah, and not only that, we can actually do it the proper colour. So for once, I will please everybody that I'm actually having the right colour. So let's do it. I think it will easily cope with that. So we have one of those headers. Now that is a point with that we're going to sunflowers, wouldn't it? Right, we need a second plow. That is definitely also true. We are going to ask, because this is a bit of an emergency, we're going to ask the store to actually run as one up, I think. The header doesn't matter. Yeah, G um, Viper GTS, Viper GTX. I've got to be honest, I'm going to give him a shout out because he does an awful lot of mods. Nearly all of my favourite mods are done by Viper. Yeah, he does the um, store deliveries, the very one we've just used. Uh, also, quite a lot of the the mods in the background that make your life easy, that you forget about sometimes. I was looking at the mods by him and earlier, and I thought, you know, I've got to give him a shout-out because I am well chuffed with all of his workmanship, the things that help you. I can't remember the other ones because it's a Friday, but he does quite a few that I love. And the one I do remember is store deliveries, but he does quite a few like that. I can't remember if he's the paint one, the paint and repair as well. But he definitely does other ones that I use. I think there are four or five of the ones that he uses. Usually scripty type based ones in the background, but yeah, they are nevertheless fantastic. So definitely a shout out because, yeah, without those type of mods... I, I don't really know where I would be. They are fantastic. They just make your life a little bit easier. And that's the trouble. You sometimes forget about them then. Yeah, so if we do this, we might not get a full... Yeah, because it's 180 horsepower. No, it is 180 horsepower. So you should get full speed out of it, actually. So let's change the colour of that. I think we're going to go for that one there. It's not far off, Fiat Agri. Although, didn't we do the other one, Fiat Agri-ish? It'll do. It's as cheap as chips. That's a Rawley Christie one. Yeah, fantastic. So we're going to set two of those going after we've done the first grass. Bit. I think we should trundle with one set of mowers 
on field five, whilst leaving the two heavier tractors, we can do the Windra and I think, yeah, I reckon, I reckon that's what we're going to do. So, yeah, I mean, an astronomical amount of money. I do think, as I said, we're going to put the one by Chumpy Farmer down, my absolute new favourites. Uh, again, that doesn't mean to say I hate the Royal Christie one. Um, but it is, I do love mods that it, it's, I always, I mean, it's a bit like the big backhander. I never thought anything would ever sort of throw that down and leave it in second place. But I seriously think the AGM pack, that one there is better. It's only drawback is that it really needs to be on the very one. So if you stick it on a standard one, if for some reason it goes up and then you can't put it down on the floor right. So it's got to really be on the AGM, which doesn't fit all tractors terribly well. Not all. Well, like, no, I don't know. No, no, that's, yeah, it's it's not awful. I think the only one that I couldn't get it to work on was the case, the big case that I've got that needed its own special one. It just was, just was not having any of it. So, yeah, that is where we're going to leave it. We are doing terribly well. Let's just put this on 0.5 for a minute. What silage have we got left in the production thing? Because obviously one of them had got an awful lot of grass. Yeah, that's the one that had all gone. So this one's got still have yeah, nearly it's 200 tons. We need to stick 100 tons of water in to make that work literally so that over the night we're going to get the, the most out of it. Digestate, how much? I would imagine we've got probably a backlog of digestate. I would say, yeah, we have. It couldn't cope with all of that. So again, over the winter, we're probably going to have quite a large, yeah, a glut of that because it can't cope with the sheer volume of digestate that's coming from this and the Omitan. It's got 233 tonnes of digestate. So that, through the winter, is slowly going to go. We're going to have massive payouts throughout the winter because of the sheer volume of digestate that we are literally t converting to fertilizer. I mean, yes, I know I could upgrade it, but I actually quite like the fact it's a source. And when I say slow release, I mean, you can see that's 500 odd grand. If it does that every single day. We are going to be really well off next year, beginning of next year, which I quite like because it would mean we can probably buy a couple of really decent tractors that, are, well, I mean, I, yeah, I, like, I don't rely totally on the, uh, sales there's a forwarder yeah I'd, I'd think it was i don't but some of these are tractors that you can convert that you, that you could use to the print off although it would be a bit of a pr pretty expensive tractor if you did that yeah but this definitely yeah we're doing very well i'm well chuffed with our progress do we buy another field do we buy another field i think animals is the next sort of business i think through the winter we literally put that down and i'd say a hundred odd cows truthfully i think we'll stick that in field 185 which we already own i do i think we're going to literally stick the one we just seen in the test we just did stick that down and stick at least a hundred cattle down and then stick the manure yard and all the rest of it i think we'll do that yeah next session's going to be all yeah, all battle stations, really. It's I'm not sure I'm going to squeeze that in. I, I always say, oh, I'm going to do it. But then you like think, yeah, you're never going to do that. You're never going to get a chance to do that on top of everything else. It's just too much to do. It really is. Yeah, but all that remains for this session is to say thank you very much for watching. Truly do hope you're going to stick with me on this fantastic journey on this beautiful map. It is glorious. And I'm going to say goodbye for now.